Let's go at it again, shall we? Is that the same map? I assume it is. Energy readings are going crazy. I'm guessing we don't have much time before it explodes. Going crazy. On a way to stabilize that thing, provided we can get close um, enough to access its core. Well, Stay in the shadows until we can get a better done that song and dance before. Roger that. Basically the same start. I don't think. Like as I said, I don't think, or at least I don't see the mistakes that I could have been making, I don't know. I don't think there was anything, like, particularly bad about any of the movement. I just, I got unlucky several... well, regardless, it's not the point. The point is, I don't think the movement wasn't correct. So... First moves could be the same, pretty much. Right. I would really like to deal with this group first, if I can. Previously, though, I wasn't able to. Oh yeah, and there was, there was an actual mistake, but that was because I didn't know the rules of the game. I assumed that Overwatch would trigger. And he didn't. So, the third pack was, was somewhere like around there, previously. I'm not, still not 100% sure if this is safe. <sighs> Might not be, but what can I do about it though? I do need to advance. Where's the fourth guy? You. It's just, there is no place in the map that would feel safe. I suppose like this feels relatively safe. I can go there for now and see what happens. Nothing happens. Okay. Mm. It should be safe, honestly. But then, like, can I say the same about this tree? Not really, exactly. So... Maybe I just go there, then. And then... Overwatch is pointless, even. It doesn't do anything at this point. It cannot really trigger. But I mean, what are the other options? I can't get there. You can though. Okay. Copy that. That's something. Don't see anyone. No, I, I do the see them. I do see them. Seem more than the We're not sure whether it okay. Up to training or yeah, ambush, ambush. Commander, we have a chance to do some serious damage here. Before Serious combat, damage. Sure I do need to advantage. go closer. You no, know, Bradford, like, to do Overwatch ambushes, it's possible, technically. But the problem is, Bradford, we would need more than four people. If you actually got us some, like, couple of just, I don't know, just hides, like, a couple of ruffians, we would be able to actually do ambushes, but right now I just don't see how it's even possible with four people. That's good. That's a good position. I need to trigger them now. The question is how. I can actually overwatch this time. This time it's possible. Okay, let me think about it. So what do we have? We have... Let's say two shots, one of them will be overwatch, another will be like, let's say, shotgun, right? I can't actually hit them from there. I can't hit them from there. There are no, like, full covers. That's a full cover, but it's very far. 
And I'm not sure if I if I'm comfortable. Um, let's say I shoot one of them. Where do they run to? Do they run towards me, or away from me? Because I can't really run far with a sword. And if I can't hit them with a sword, then I would rather Kelly actually started the fight with a shotgun. But then she would have to stay in half cover, because there is really no full cover to do it from. Unless I go there, which is very far. I don't think I want to do that. And this is not usable. Unfortunately, you cannot see them from there. Therefore... Well, I mean, what is the option? I could start with someone else and use Kelly to maybe throw a grenade. That's an option, actually. You know what? I kind of like it. Okay, the plan is, one of them shoots this low HP guy. This guy freaks out, runs somewhere. Kelly moves like there or there, throws a grenade, blows up his cover, and then we have two shots to finish him off. Hopefully. The problem with this plan is Bradford is a bit out of position. What? It's still not horrible. And, um... Yeah... So... Yeah, it would have to be from this spot, though, that's the problem. Like, yes, I could overwatch. No, you know what, I should overwatch, it's kinda stupid not to. Because it's still one shot, I will still need one more shot regardless. The only really... the only problem, really, is that I will need to do it from half cover. But it's worth it. I'll have one more shot, like, in the open. That's worth it, surely. Yeah, okay. I think I'm convincing myself on that. Okay, Bradford, you'll get your ambushes, I think. I think this will be the spot then, because it will have to be half cover regardless. I can't really choose anything better. This spot will be there for Bradford. This spot will be unusable, so... Now, here's the next question. Do I have, like, do I set up double Overwatch ambush? Because I could. I mean, let's think about it. If there is already one guy that does that anyway, and, like, he will be left in half cover regardless, what is exactly the problem of having another guy doing the same thing? Because risk is already there. If I don't kill them, I already have a guy in half cover. So now the second Overwatch actually becomes better. And I might rethink my stance on Overwatches in this game, actually, with that. Um, is that, like, a sound way of thinking? I think it is. I just think, like, if I get... Yeah, you know what? Let's Roger. try it at least. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Let's check it out. And then Kelly is... Here's the problem. As I said, if they run away from me, I cannot chase them. I cannot do anything with them. And Shotgun will be pretty much useless at this point. So I think Kelly does the same thing pretty much. Meaning that she goes there and then she just overwatches. Or even shoots one of them, actually. Hmm. Okay, regardless, I don't know where the second pack is, but I don't have a lot of choices in terms of where I can advance. Look, there are two choices. First choice is this box. Second choice is this one. This one is safer, but it's longer distance. And, uh, yeah, and that's a problem. This one, however, is closer distance, but then it could trigger potentially a second pack right now, which would be very unfortunate. So that being said, I think this one is better. Yeah. I think overall I like this one more. Position confirmed. Now, I have actually 70% to shoot. I think she, she starts the shooting. And then Bradford will be here or here? 
I think here is better. It doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't really matter. Now the question is, who is starting? What chances do you all have? Oh, same chances. My god, shotgun is the same chance at this distance. Whoa, 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 really? I mean, okay, I definitely shoot with a shotgun then. The question is, whom do I shoot? I think this guy, actually. What is the chance? So I need at least a 5, like 46, and then I need a crit, which is 23 in total or something. 23% to kill him. Mm. Or 68% to kill him. And then hope that over sh uh, overwatch shots kill this guy. I honestly don't know which one is better. I definitely am using a shotgun though. There is a disaster scenario where it misses at all. Like, if, if it hits even once, then there is actually a good chance we kill him on Overwatch. Let's, um... Regardless, you guys all should Overwatch. And then... Let's try the closer one. Yeah, let's try this one. I'm not exactly sure which one is better there, to be honest, but... I think they're both, like, approximately equal. It feels they should be equal, at least. That's, like, okay. That's okay. Kinda decent. And now let's see how Overwatches go. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. But they're okay. Oh, so Overwatches are... Oh, they're not simultaneous. Whoa. That makes Overwatches way, way, way better than before, actually. Holy shit. Look at this. They go in turn. They don't actually shoot all the same target. Wow. Wow. What are the chances to hit? I think it's a second wave option, maybe. Like, uh, I think it was like that in first XCOM. Um, unmodded, I mean. I don't actually have a chances to hit. Does Overwatch still have 30% uh, penalty? Regardless. This is very interesting. I'll need to think about it. Huh. Well, I'll think about it later. Uh, anyway, so the idea is that now we don't have a concealment. If we see enemies, we trigger enemies, and that's all there is to it. I actually happen to know where the next pack is, judging by this guy. Therefore, I can try to get closer without triggering him. And then try to overwatch him into oblivion, which is... Possible? So can I see from where do I start to see him exactly? I cannot actually know that. Mm. Mm. Unfortunate. But I mean, I do need to get closer though. I don't have a concealment as I said, so if they see me, that's it. I mean, by that's it, I mean they trigger. It's not like we, we're dead after that, but yeah. Okay, they do see me. What do they do? They go forward, that's really good for me. So what about a grenade? Very good. And this one? Okay. What about a sword attack? I know. I can do a sword there. No? How? Oh, he's standing on like a second tile, I see. Yeah, that's a problem. I can still shoot this guy though. Flank him like this. So... You are not flanking this guy though, right? Yep. I could like hunker and just wait and... I could like triple grenade this guy. That's possible. 
There are several options. But I think this has to happen. So I cannot really sword him. Because that would uh, require me to stay out of cover. Which is not happening. Spoiler alert. I can... I think this... Is this a flank? God damn it, I have no idea. I have no idea if this is a flank. In the first XCOM, this would not be even possible. You wouldn't be able to shoot him from there. I have no idea if this counts as a flank or not. No idea. I'll need to test it, but right now testing it doesn't seem to be the best idea I have. The only real place I can do it from is there. Or there. There also works. Okay, I like this, I think. Yeah, she will need to shoot. There is another option, by the way. There is another option there. Wait. What if I grenade this guy first? This actually should get rid of the boxes, and that makes it half cover. And then maybe Kelly get can get closer and shotgun him. Even if it's not flank, but like it will be half cover then. But for this, I would need either Bradford or someone to get rid of this guy first. Hmm, I think I like this plan. It's actually like, maximizes my chances to get rid of both of them on this turn. I was afraid at first that uh, he wasn't able to see him for some reason. Yeah, there's some chance of this succeeding. Good, good. Got him. Now, the next one is that you, for example, will just throw a grenade. Well, it should be you, really. But the, because this guy would, I would like to pot shot with him to try to get a promotion. Ideally. But the problem is, I'm not sure if I can get close enough to throw a grenade. Because this spot will have to go to Kelly. So the best place I have is this one. Rolling. Can you even get a grenade from there? Really? No, I need to I need to get him as well. No. So no, unfortunately you will have to do that. No choice. Something like yeah, something like this. Yeah, so that was the plan. He lost his uh, full cover, now he's just half cover. And now I can actually try to one-shot him with something. Oh no, there was this spot. Ah, oh, god damn it. I could have actually got them here got him there, this guy. Yeah, unfortunate. What is better by the way? Is this closer? I think they're both pretty equal. Can I trigger someone if I go there? Maybe. Yeah, let's actually do this. They should be safer. 50% for the kill is fine. It's decent as far as chances go. Alright, that definitely goes much better than previously. Um, we need to reload, but we also need to overwatch. We still have 3 ammo, so should be okay. I'm not like that worried about the right side. You definitely should go to the tree. On my way. Nothing. Okay, then we'll just get a bit closer. We have some time. It's not exactly a problem yet. Moving. Like this. The question is, however, do I reload? Yes, I do. I'm on the move. That's the answer. Alright then, you reload, and then you just all overwatch, I think. So you'll have two bullets left after shooting. You'll have one bullet left, you'll have three bullets left. Yeah, that's fine. Ranger doesn't really even need uh, bullets anyway. 
she has sword. The converter soon. I don't think anybody's going home today. We already dead, Bradford. That's all a dream. We died 30 minutes ago. That's an afterlife, clearly. How do I get closer? This? Someone needs to get the Bradford? Good. Go there. That's affirmative. Question. Can you get there next turn? Yes. But if there is a pack, if there is a pack again, then I cannot actually leave him there. So I'll need to get even closer. Do I just hope that there is no one there? Because I could get there, technically. Or there, actually. It's not like that's that big of a difference. Um, I shouldn't trigger anyone, really, right now, I mean. Oh, okay, that's a blue move, actually. Blue move is fine. I can do a blue Reported. move there. Good, good. Then uh, the idea is... Okay, I can actually do it however I want. So... Do I have, like, fourth cover for this guy? Um, uh, not really. I don't want to leave him there. I'll need to get one guy there. Oh, I'm so apprehensive of making this move. If I trigger someone, can I trigger him from, like, this window? There is no one, surely. Surely there is no one. Yeah, there is no one. Should be safe. It's not, like, 100% safe. Is it a flank, by the way, if someone goes from there? Yep, it's a flank. But, like, not immediately. Yes, but kind of immediately. If they go, like, there, it will be a flank. I hate it. I hate it. I hate all of it. It's, it's horrible. It's horrible, but I need to do something. God damn it. Uh, uh, I'm chickening it out. I don't know. Uh, yeah, just do this. I just must overwatch. Best thing I can think of. Okay, now. <laughs> From what side am I expecting someone to show? You know, actually, what I think would be a good move there. I think the good move would be to go like there with Kelly and get some info first. Because I'll need to activate this thing, but I... I feel like the soldier who does this is very likely to die. This is safer, I think, this one. It's a bit safer. They will need to show up from, like, there, which is... Yeah, you know what, it's fine. Let's do this. Technically, by the way... Actually, I'm not sure. Is Should this be Bradford, technically? I'm not sure which one is better. The promoted guy or not. There are, like, several arguments for it, but... Mm, let's do it with the promoted guy. On my way. I think this is the move. Good. Oh, yeah, very good. Then we just hack. Looking for loose data. What can we get? Income by 25, or scanning time is times reduced by 50% for 4 weeks. I have no idea how uh, good this is supposed to be. 25 is pretty good though, I suppose. Oh yeah. Now, there is a third pack. I have no idea where it is. You cannot move. So let's just stay on the high ground then. It should be safe to go there now. And let's just stay there. And... And... Just... Overwatch. Good copy. Moving on target. Moving to Overwatch. Yeah, and we are flanked, but maybe it works out. Okay, good, good. They didn't shoot immediately. I'm pretty sure it can happen in this game. Not even close. 
one hit. Crazy good. So. Um. Okay, guys. Look. Did you get your promotion? Yes. So. A grenade from you is happening. That is happening. The question is where you go to throw it. There? This is actually flankable. No, but I don't need a flank. They will lose all their covers anyway. I can do this. No one else can do this corner, right? Yep. They're all dying, I'm pretty sure, this turn. At least those two front ones should be dying for sure. So you do first grenade. Ideally, I also blow this guy's cover, but I can't. Unfortunate. But okay, okay, I can work with that. So this guy is maybe even stays alive. I don't know. Let's just start. Are they all uncovered? Yep. Now look. There are two things I could do. Thing number one. No, maybe actually I can do that. No, scratch that. I don't even think I can. So you too have grenades. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't think actually I can do that. What I wanted to do. I can kill them at any moment. That These guys are not a problem. This guy is a problem though. But I am in full cover, however, and I can actually overwatch. So... Well, I can't overwatch if I try to kill them by shooting. Do you all have your promotions? Wait, when did he get the promotion? When did that happen? Did I miss it? Well, regardless. So, Jane Kelly... I have three actions. I definitely would like to shoot a sectoid once. Just try it out. I definitely do not want to go out of my full covers this turn. So... First of all, you please do get closer and see if we can actually hit this grenade. Oh, we can! Ah, okay, okay. Well, that changes it a bit. Then I do actually use a grenade. I'm sorry, plans change. I do want to use the grenade then. This canister is unsafe as I know. Can I throw a grenade like this? Like, in an arc, like this, or uh, or there, like, I don't even know which one would be more likely, to be honest. I think this should be fine, or this. Let's, let's try it, let's Moving try it. Location. I would assume you could, yep, okay. So, the idea is, uh, there is only one way to maximize my chances to not let any one of my guys die. There is only one thing I can do for that. I will lose the corpses, so due to explosion, but it has to happen. Or I cannot do that. Like This is the best chance I have. Which is to do this. Then a frag grenade follows for this guy. And then I have one shot at him. That's the idea. So this should be a shooting at, in the shooting range, for example. And then we're still in full cover, even if it doesn't work. So like it's uh, it loses the loot, but at least we have a good chance of killing all them, um, them all on this turn. Okay, this one better. A little bit. 
Yeah, the Silver Watch thing, you know, Bradford, you you are onto something. You're onto something for sure. That works pretty well, actually. I'm still not very comfortable with uh, not having any control, though. Like, if I put all of my soldiers on Overwatch, like, let's say, three of them, and then take a shot... Like... What? If they all miss... Like, first of all, I don't even know where enemies will go. What if they go, like, towards me, and I can't really even take any more further action? And what if, like, I don't kill them with Overwatches? What then? I can't even move after that. Like, that's still... Well, that was the original, my original problem with the Overwatch strategy, but... I mean, it works though, it works pretty well, so I definitely should keep, it, keep that in mind. It definitely can be used. Regardless, let's go. Right, there was a statistics screen. Hell yeah, Jim Kelly! Successful shot percentage, 100%! I deserved it, after my last try. I actually, I'm kind of uh, wondering if the game is rigged in a way that uh, if you fail like your very first mission, then you're like... On your, su on your su subsequent retry, it gets easier. Or like the RNG is more in your favor. I wouldn't be surprised if it was something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Serving as our demolitions experts, the grenadiers. The grenadiers. Um. So, this thing, I do remember. By the way, uh, in my previous playthrough, if you can call it that, I uh, only got to this promotion, the first one. Like, I saw the first promotion, I think, for every class, and that was it. So, yeah. Um, the point of grenadiers is that they have an extra grenade, and they can throw them extra far. Which is uh, pretty good. It's pretty good. And then, while there are two, like, distinct branches apparent, it's actually not branches you can pick either of the skills on every level up and it doesn't lock up anything really aside from the opposite skill but like you can still pick and choose from every branch on your every level up as you wish so that's a bit weird um anyway um grenadier is good congratulations breadfoot I never used the this thing. I have no idea. <laughs> it seems remarkably useless early on. So the idea is that you he has some like kind of robot that gives buffs. Well, it's actually like on the first level up he will get an ability to deal damage with it, which seems pretty good to be clear, but Yeah. Um the problem is that on level 1, the only thing he gets is just that it can get bonus to defense, which is like... I mean... You saw how well c they can shoot sometimes, the enemies are, so... That doesn't particularly save anyone, usually, I would expect. And it's like, not something... You want to be proactive. Uh, well, in this kind of games overall, and in this game in particular, you want to be proactive. You can't really just sit and, and defend stuff. In Long War you could, though. Sometimes. Um, yeah. But you still, you need some um, some equipment. Like, you can't actually do that from the get-go uh, with your basic squad. You need some promotions, you need some items, and so on. And, like, this thing seems pretty much useless early on. So, yeah. Never used it, though. It's just... It really... There never seems to be a good time for it. There really should be sometimes, though. Like, realistically, there should be some a good place for it. Sometimes. 
and also a sniper. Our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with oh, sharp accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional standard damage dealer. Seems quite good. Yeah, so squad side. So seems like it's unlimited range, but your squad mates need to see the target. Seems good. Yeah. Lost a loot point, but it was worth the to lessen the risk. I think. Why are you all just standing around? It's perfect. Come on, let's get it inside. <laughs> I saw this in Half-Life 1. It didn't end well. Ah, uh, sure. Don't really have a choice. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander, getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Are those rovers like sentient? AI control? Why are they like just randomly swooping around? What do we do? Medkits, yes. So, uh, okay, I'll talk about that later. It's fine. We should meet him in the lab. Yeah, sure, sure. Let's do. Let's do some more cinematics. So much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective added. New objective, have him perform an Advent Officer autopsy. The Advent Officers have clearly been so, modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. Is the key. So, I'll read this text, I'm interested in it, and like, you're on YouTube, so if you don't want to listen to it, you can always just uh, fast forward it for a bit. Anyway. 
With little time to prepare, we were forced to conduct an extremely invasive procedure on the commander in order to remove what appeared to be an implant carefully enmeshed within the occipital lobe. Although all indications were that the device was not designed for removal, concerns as to the commander's potential longevity and the risk of possible remote manipulation by the aliens left us with little alternative. Despite my concerns, the commander has so far felt no lasting effects from the procedure and appears to be recovering ahead of expectations. As for the ship itself, my initial findings are alarming, to say the least. The device is psionically driven by the latent energy of the subject's brain, in this case the commander. Am I a psionic? More importantly, it appears the device functions as both a transmitter and receiver, relaying information via some form of psionic link. Even after removal, I've had to shield the device to contain the residual psionic fields surrounding the implant itself for fear of what it might be capable of. If my current theory is correct, the commander may have played a more important role in advanced operations than we could have possibly imagined. Erdtaiken. Mysterious. So, um, there is a story progression thing, which is this one, autopsy. And there are, um, do I remember what that was? Oh, I, I remember this one. I, I made this one before. So, this one is the, um, how is it called? Like, not an armor, but the thing that you put instead of the grenade in a slot. And then uh, you have plus one HP. That's... Like, it's, it's like reasonably good, but I don't know about that. Uh, I'm not like impressed with either of those. I don't think I ever got this research. No idea what that does. Or did I? I don't remember. Whatever. Um, does it matter? I don't think so. I don't think it matters right now. So let's let's just go ahead with the with the story thing. Aside from the variety of fascinating genetic enhancements found in the Advent Troopers, the officers appear to be augmented further with some kind of biomechanical implant. I believe this allows for some sort of communication throughout the alien hierarchy. If we were to somehow tap into the system, I wonder what might we hear? The Advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent forces. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options mm -hmm. available. We'll begin Can I go into armory, please? When a complete report please? Looks like Shen got please? Up and running, Commander. No. We're ready for you on the I bridge. know, but can I? Okay, thank you. So, oh my god. No, I can't customize them. Good. So, I, I haven't seen the customization screen before. So, here's the thing. Uh, I usually do some customization on my soldiers. Um, well, first of all, just to honestly... Just to see more clearly in the combat what is happening. So, first thing first is the color. I had a color system back in the Long War. I have no idea how exactly classes work in this game. But I'm roughly following what I had before. So, assaults were always red for me. Which is uh, also kind of the case there, I suppose. No reason not to do it red. Also, other like secondary armor color. Yeah, let's just make it full red. Don't see the point. Why? Why would I not? No, 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 no. Um, is there like um, different armor styles? No, I don't think so. I don't see it. At least, yep. Then, the next thing is, I would usually mm, customize the face somewhat, just to make them more distinguishable. And I would also rename them usually. But I think... Well, how do I rename them? Do I do it like this? Can I remove the first name? 
No, but uh, can I like... Can I remove the last name? Also no. But can I like leave a space? Also no. But can I leave a minus? Yep. Okay, it will be like this then. Um, the way I usually do it, I'll just give them whatever, whatever like word strikes my fancy becomes their name pretty much. But honestly, Kelly is fine. I, I mean, she's distinguishable enough. She's like almost a, I don't know, like almost a story kind of person. So I don't know. Kelly is okay. I'll leave Kelly like this. And I also leave Bradford like this, though I uh, do want to recolor him as well. Grenadiers are basically rocketeers and gunners, and gunners were yellow for me, usually. This doesn't look yellow at all. Is that because it's Bradford specifically? That's unfortunate. Alright, what? Well, what can I do? Okay. Not much of a choice. At least the gun will be yellow. Or orange-ish, actually. Is there a, like, clear yellow? Yeah, there is. Something like this. Well, it's as yellow as he gets, apparently. He's also pretty, like, distinguishable, so no need to mess around with him any further. But you two do get fully customized, that's for sure. Supports, well, engineers specifically, were blue. I'll also make him blue, though he also might be a medic. I honestly have no idea, but I don't know. If he will be a medic later, then we'll get to it. Um, yeah, no, 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 Running. that's fine, that's fine, don't care. So, weapon color is also preferably blue. It's a bit toxic blue, but uh, no, it's okay. It will be okay, I think. If it's not, I'll fix it later. So, you don't actually have a first name. And last name, you will be Chip from now on. The rest is I don't care, whatever. Doesn't really matter. You look like distinguishable enough, so no need to muck around with the with your looks. And also this is a sniper. Well, sniper is a problem. I usually had them in black. But now I have a lot of colors free, actually. There is no, like, infantry, right? So green is free. Mm. Or white. White is also fine. It's either white or green. Let's do white. Is white distinguishable enough? Like, can I actually see it clearly? Yeah, it's pretty... Yeah, I like it. I like it. That's okay. I think it will be better as uh, I get better armors. Yeah, it's fine. It's really fine. So, yeah. Um... No name, please. And as for the last name... Hmm... Rabbit. So... Next thing on the list is actually engineering, and if I remember correctly, there were some... No, not inventory, but I could build some things, right? Yeah, so I started talking about medkits. Well, I'll continue it later when we have a mission. So, um, I never use smokes, I don't know. I don't see how smokes would be useful. I will build one later, but right now it's just a waste of money. Flashbangs are so weird, man! Do I even use them? They're so weird in this game. I never got to like quite a consensus with myself on whether I should use them or not. Uh, I don't know. The problem is, 
flashbangs in Long War, like, I think they didn't basically exist in, in the original. Or even if they did, that, that was some kind of late game thingy that wasn't really used. But like in Long War, they were reused really often. But the point of them was to break overwatches, mainly, and just to make yourself safe for next turn. But then like, even in those couple of missions that I played, I used those, and... You know, basically, I used like, I don't know, maybe two flashbangs overall. And they still hit me every time under a flashbang effect in full cover. So like, I don't know, maybe I just got extremely unlucky, but I really am not happy about it. It seems not very useful to put it mildly. And the also the problem is that... Um, you don't actually need to kill overwatches by throwing flashbangs. You can throw just a normal grenade and any damage in this game stops overwatch. Which is a huge change, groundbreaking. And um, flashbangs are just... Why do you even use them for then? What do you even use them for? What's the point? On the opposite hand, they do have a bigger range. So maybe... I just tried to think of a situation where I would rather have flashbang instead of a normal frag. And it's possible to think of such a situation, but it's not easy. It's possible though. So... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm not convinced. Let's build one, though. I'm just not sure if I take it with myself. I'm thinking about that right now. I'm not sure about that. Let's see, though. It's okay. I'll not build a smoke yet. I'm definitely not taking a smoke. I don't see how I can justify it ever. Well, at this point in the game. So, that's all I can do there. Just stay clear of the perimeter. Understood? Commander. Good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts... There are still people who refuse to believe their lies. And it's time we let them know they're not alone. We've already located a target for our first operation. Sir, given our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen, status report. Are we ready? Short answer? Yes. But you might all want to hold on to something. It looks like a turtle. Territories. With wheels. We're ready to start making moves, Commander. By hitting Advent wherever we find them, we can help what strengthen do we do? the resistance. In return, they'll contribute material and just personnel to support our operation. That's an engineer. Okay. Recover item from Advent Train. Yeah. Is it still, like, timed? It doesn't sound like it should be timed, right? Recover item from Advent Train. But it will be timed, won't it? What is this? Is this a button? <laughs> I'm afraid to click it. <laughs> In case it will crash the game or something. <laughs> anyway, let's confirm. <laughs> it looks like Shen prepped a med kit for us. We should equip one of our so, yeah. soldiers with it before um, they deploy. Yes, we should, definitely. So... The Grenadiers should have grenades, because their weapon actually gives the extra range to them. The question is, do we get a flashbang? So, first of all, you, Sniper, should take the medkit. 
I originally wasn't sure how to feel about medkits necessarily, because um, well, because they aren't that useful usually. Like I would rather have grenades normally, but in this game, however, if you do use medkit on a wounded soldier on a battlefield and actually full heal him, he will not go into the hospital. Which is a huge deal. It's a huge deal. And that's the reason why you always should have a medkit. Honestly, in original, even in long war, like in early missions, I often just didn't take medkits at all. Though it's a different story, of course, because there are six soldiers and, you know, you can do stuff. Um, anyway, so the question is, do I go for flashbangs? The answer is, yes, I do. Second question, who should get flashbang? I think... I think probably you, actually, an engineer. Flashbang. And I think... I think it's pretty much set. I don't really want to change much else. Unless I forgot something. I don't think I forgot anything. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. Let's go then. Yeah, yeah. Seems okay. Deployed. The squad is ready to deploy on your order, Commander. Let's go. Shen has been keeping an eye on a faint advent signal popping up occasionally in this region. As far as we can tell, it's likely a malfunctioning data vault, and it appears to be carrying critical intel tied to the aliens' latest operation. We can't pass up any opportunities to slow their progress, so we're moving on the train. Neutralize their security forces, lock down the area, and seize control of the assets. Neutralize all of them, and then recover something something. Sure. Let's go. Pretty far. On the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self detonating charges are in place at the of target. Of course, they Move are. The and God the damn it, they turn. This is so far. What the hell? Look at this. How am I even supposed to get there in eight turns? Oh my god. And this map is a mess. What is this? The trains all over. Good god. Okay, well, I'll finish the video there for now, and uh, I'll definitely take a break, and then I'll see you in the next one.